everyone, so I recently ordered a few things from ColourPop and I just wanted to do some swatches and a quick review on them. It was actually the first time that I ordered anything from ColourPop and I've been wanting to order some stuff for a while so I finally did it. And I really like, like I used it on my eyes today and um, I, did, like, I did use a lips color today and I really really liked the quality and how smooth the eyeshadows were. So I wanted to do some swatches for you guys because I really liked it and I want some of you to maybe try it out for this video. So I'm going to start off with the lipsticks and I got three lip colors and two samples. So the first one I picked out was actually Magic Wand and it is a satin lip color. And on the website it's actually described as a nude color. So let's try it on. <laughs> so it is a nude color definitely. And it's kind of on the pinky side instead of the brownie side. So I really like this. And the satin is very soft. The next color I got is Solo, and this is an ultra matte lip, and on the left side, I think this one is like considered a pinky color, and yeah, but it's matte, it's an, one of the ultra matte ones. So I'm going to let this dry, so we can see what it looks like dry, but it's actually a really pretty color, and I really like it. Like, it's not too pinky, because sometimes like, I'll get a color and it's too pinky, and I don't really like it, but I really like this color. I'm just gonna let it dry. Alright, so it is now dry and it's very smooth. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel like a drying matte color. It feels like a really smooth matte. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next color I picked out is also an ultra matte and it is Bumble. And it's actually on their website described as a pink, pinky red tone. And like the other one was just pink, and this one's pink red. <laughs> My voice red <laughs> sounded like an animal. So this is Bumble and I really like this color because I don't really have anything like that's this shade that's kind of in the mix in the mix. That's kind of between a pink and a red, so I really like this color. <laughs> that's so stupid. It's kind of in the mix. The two samples I chose are Freaking Frack and London Fog, and the samples were like, if you spend $20 you get a sample, and they were lip colors, so these are two I chose. So the first one is Freaking Frack, and it's an ultra satin lip, and it was on their website, considered a nude, which I don't know if this will actually look nude on me, because I'm like, the color of my shirt, like I'm really pale, <laughs> so. I'm like a clown or something, because <laughs> my lips are like red around it, and then this just like, I don't know. So this color is pretty, but it's definitely not a nude on me. But like, I'm pretty sure like other people would be like really, really pretty nude because it is a really pretty color. But I do think it would be pretty for the fall because it's kind of like a berry color, even though it's nude. Okay. The last sample I got is also an ultra satin, and it's in the color London Fog. Got something in my throat. And it is considered a red on their website. I don't know why I'm saying it's considered. It's like it's obviously red. On the website, it's considered a red, but I don't know what it really is. <laughs> okay. So I actually really like this color. It's a really, really... I actually really like this color. It's a really pretty red, and it kind of has a pink undertone, which I like because I have the MAC Ruby Woo, which is like an extreme red, and it's a matte. So I like that this one's like a satin and like a pink undertone red. I actually may buy this in full size too. I don't know yet. <laughs> I got one of their highlighters and it is in the color of Lunch Money. And on their website, because I kind of looked all these up for like talking about it. On their website it says that it has a pearlized finish and that it, it's gold. Which that's true because I, I do have it on right now and it is kind of gold. But I'm going to put it on my top lip to show you guys. It's a really, really, really soft. Like it feels like you're like rubbing your hands in lotion. It's really soft. So this is what it looks like on the Cupid's bow, and I really like this highlighter because you can build it up, and I do use my finger to put it on. I didn't use a brush, and the finger actually kind of made it easier to apply. I did try to use the brush at first, but then I started using my finger, and it did make it easier. And you can build it up or not put a lot at all, and it's still really pretty, which I really like about the highlighter, and it's really soft as well, so I really, really like this highlighter. 
So I got six eyeshadows, and the first one I got is Fringe, and this is considered on the website an ultra glitter neutral color, and I really like how it has silver glitter and kind of like gold glitter in it. It's really pretty. And I actually do have this on my eyelid right now. <laughs> the next one I got is Supermodel and it is a satin and it's also considered a neutral and I did put this on my brow bone today so it's also on my brow bone and it's a pretty gold color it's kind of goldy when you put it on and it does pretty as like a highlight on your brow bone which is what I just said I did so <laughs> the next color I got is also a glittery color and it is sequin and this is actually one of the top ones on their website which is why I got it because I was like oh this is probably good <laughs> but it's a pink gold color and it's really really pigmented like I barely just touched it and it's a, also an ultra glitter color I already say that I don't know I think I already said that so hanky panky is a matte that color that I got and it's a neutral color and this is a really good transition shade. I did use it as a transition shade today and it worked really well whenever I was blending my other colors on top so it wasn't patchy. It made it look really good with the other colors. The next color I got is Waddles and it was considered a satin and a pinky color. A pink gold I think. And this one's really really pretty as well. It, I actually put this one all over my um, crease today and it blended really well over top of Hanky Pinky. It's like a really pinky type color. The last color I got was Crenshaw, and this was considered a matte neutral color. And this one is a really, really browny color. Like, it's a really pretty brown, which I, didn't, I don't actually have a color like this, so I was really glad I got it. And I actually used this one in my outer corner today, and it blended well with the other ones as well, so it worked. <laughs> so that's all that I got from ColourPop, and I really, really, really like everything I picked out. And I'll probably definitely be shopping there again, like, online, because I really like the colors, and it was pretty cheap because... I like, well I like how you can do on ColourPop is you can get the colors that you know you're going to use because whenever I go and buy a big palette at Ulta or Sephora or somewhere that I want to buy a palette, it's like $50 for shades and I don't like always use all the shades on there. There will be like four or five shades that I never even use. So I like how he, like on ColourPop you can just customize and they actually have palettes now where you can connect, like put the magnets on it. I saw that today on, today on their website when I was like researching and everything. So I think that's really cool. And yeah, I just wanted to do this video in case you wanted to see the swatches. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Hey, bye. Okay. <laughs> I never know how to end videos. Roam if you want. <laughs> Roam around the world. <laughs>